licorice brushes, a globe lunchbox, and a headband with peanuts? We found new awesome ways to sneak food into class. Class started a minute ago, and the girls are running late. Oh, who is this dame sitting at the desk? She must be from an aristocratic family. Mademoiselle Ratatouille will teach an additional class today. How boring. At least the girls have hidden a little can of Pringles that looks like school supplies. Attach school supplies to the sides of a little can of Pringles. Leave a gap so that you can take chips out of it. Cover the bottom part with a strip of a foam rubber sheet. Make it look like a school supply cup. The girls crunch on chips without anyone noticing, just so they won't fall asleep during this class on high culture. How nice! Mademoiselle approves this food-based approach to studying, because this is the essence of her subject. Viewing food from a different angle. How to combine edible things and inedible matter. The girls don't have a clue what she's talking about. What language is this master of proteins and carbs speaking? Keep calm. Mademoiselle Ratatouille will explain to you the topic of the class with an illustrative example. For instance, these glue sticks aren't at all what you think they are at first glance. Clean glue sticks. Put bread sticks from Nutella and go into one of them and fill the other with chocolate spread. Mademoiselle Ratatouille hands out studying materials to the girls. There are Nutella and Go ingredients inside these glue sticks. Now that's what a food disguise looks like. It's when you can hide food in the most unexpected places. The girls like this topic. They are ready to study hard. Mademoiselle Ratatouille is about to have a heart attack. She just took a look at what these students are doing. This is exactly what an edible apocalypse looks like. Why would you cover a notebook with peanut butter? And what kind of spell requires an egg to be broken on the desk? Come on, stop these cooking tortures. Everything about food disguise is supposed to be beautiful. For example, this bracelet. Take some small school supplies and make holes in them. Make holes in gummy candies too. Thread a rubber band through all the pieces and tie the bracelet. The main rule of disguise is that combining edible and inedible elements shouldn't be too visible. No one will even figure out that this bracelet is actually a snack. Come on, girls. Turn on your logic and your sense of aesthetics. The girls learned their lesson. They get down to business. Let's upgrade food. Jessica made cheese stickers. Cut thin slices of cheese and ham to be the same size as a square sticker. Put the slices one onto another to make a stack. Put them on a cardboard coaster. And Vicky's invention is a bread folder for toast. Put toasted bread into a zip file bag. Decorate the bag with school stickers. The girls combine their powers. The toast from the bag is perfect for cheese and ham stickers. Our school supply sandwich is good to go. Mademoiselle Ratatouille is blown away by her talented students. They learn so fast. Vicky needs to refresh her breath immediately. She takes out bubble gum and even doesn't hide it from the teacher. But Mademoiselle Ratatouille's sharp eyes notice everything. If you want to chew gum in class, then at least do it secretly. For example, use a stapler. Take the stapler retainer out of an empty stapler. Put bubble gum sticks inside. At first glance, it seems that Mademoiselle has a regular stapler in her hands. But hang on, let's take a look under the top. It turns out that there are bubble gum sticks hidden inside. Help yourself, girls, and remember my lessons. It's time for an exam on food disguise. A practical task awaits the girls. No need to worry, ladies. You just have to come up with a way to hide licorice candies from your teacher. Your time starts right now. Jessica knows what to do, and Vicky has an idea too. They can't wait to see the results. Put colorful licorice candies into an empty clear marker box. 
print out a label and attach it on top. Vicky will be the first one to answer. Her project is licorice markers. Just hide the long candies in a box and no one will suspect anything. Mademoiselle Ratatouille is so proud of her student that tears fill her eyes. That deserves an excellent grade. And now it's time for Jessica to present her idea. She turned licorice candies into real brushes. Cut a licorice belt on one side. Make it look like fringe. Cover it with edible glue and roll it up. Attach the piece to a long licorice candy like the bristles of a brush. Decorate it with a licorice belt. Fan out the sweet bristles. Jessica sinks her teeth into the licorice brush. She definitely passes this exam. Mademoiselle Ratatouille really values how inventive her student is. This work deserves an excellent grade with a plus. And this means that her work is over. Au revoir, my sweets! Vicky decides to have a little snack during a break. Only 20 croissants? But that won't do it all. Jessica is sure that this carb diet is no good for her friend. She needs vitamins in her diet for sure. And Jessica snuck some into her pencil case. Put school supplies into a double-sided pencil case. Put grapes and slices of banana into the other half. Jessica's fruit is always on hand. Vicky also decided to have some vitamins. But the teacher suddenly enters the classroom. Vicky hurriedly hides the remains of her croissants under the desk. But Jessica has nothing to be afraid of. She just turns over her pencil case. Mr. Sebastian is confused. Who turned the teacher's desk into a cafeteria? Come on, let's put everything back into place. That's way better. We can start our class now. Vicky listens to the teacher with admiration. How do I make him like me? Don't lose your mind, friend. You have a bright headband. Hot glue an empty paperclip box to a headband. Paint the box and the headband white and color them with yellow acrylic paint. Decorate the accessory with soft foam flowers. Put peanuts inside the box. The trick worked! Sebastian noticed her bright headband. He starts heading for Vicky. But the result is completely unexpected. The teacher just decided to have some peanuts. Poor Vicky! Her heart is broken like a nutshell. The girls take out their sketch pads. The teacher gave them a new task. They have to draw the earth. Jessica puts her heart and soul into this drawing. But Sebastian doesn't like it. So she eats her drawing out of desperation. Tear some sheets out of a sketch pad and attach a stack of wafer paper inside. Use edible glue. Sebastian is at a loss. He asks Jessica to give him the sketchbook. Now it's crystal clear. These sheets are edible, so it means that there is no need to worry about the student's health. Jessica is upset. Her teacher made her cry. But Vicky will stand up for her friend. She declares war against Sebastian. Her aim is to invade the Earth. Or at least a globe. She wants to swap his globe. But it's not that easy. Sebastian keeps his eyes open all the time. Then Vicky goes back to her desk just in time. The teacher gives them a task. They have to find Lake Titicaca on the globe. But the girls have found something more interesting in their globe. Take the globe out of its stand. Cut it in half. Trace one hemisphere on cardboard and cut out a circle. Make a line in the middle. Mark a perpendicular strip in the center. Cut the circle following the line and cut out strips at both sides so that the halves fit into each other. Cover the cardboard pieces with foil and hot glue the separators into the hemisphere of the globe so that they make a cross. Attach a shiny cardboard circle into the other hemisphere. Hot glue a piece of elastic ribbon on top. Attach a little hinge to the globe. 
Fill the partitions inside the globe with food. Put a spoon, napkins, and toothpicks into the loops. Put the lunch globe back onto the stand. The girls have a great harvest today. A delicious lunch is hidden deep down in this earth. Turning a globe into a lunchbox was a brilliant idea, and we will go back to studying geography after we have a snack. The girls are bored in class. Only a paper war will cheer them up. Let's bomb Sebastian with shells. But the teacher served in the army, and he always has a knife ready. He decisively sinks his teeth into its blade. Take a utility knife apart. Cut cheese to be the same shape as the blade. And put it into the body of the knife. Put the plug back. The girls are shocked. They need to call 911 to save the teacher. But the blade turned out to be made from cheese. Well, we won't pull pranks on this teacher anymore. Girls, now you see that the teacher also knows how to sneak food into class. Did you like our food disguises? Then write in the comments how you will sneak food into class. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new back-to-school life hacks on Troom Troom.